Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 40th World where we do soap opera reviews. Let's go on and get into today's episode. We have Maya and Nicole have both lost their minds. They are both fighting over a child. A child that was given away and had for Maya by her sister. Nicole was her surrogate. Of course, we know Zenday didn't want no part of it. He didn't care less about what she was trying to do. She even he even tried to stop Nicole from becoming a surrogate. Whereas we know, nine months later, we come with baby girl Liz, very very, very beautiful young girl, and um, Nicole recently found out that she couldn't have children. <laughs> so basically, we're like, okay, that was, that is my sidebar, y'all. She's trying to take whatever baby she can get. And since technically that is her baby, but the sperm is not, you know, hers or Zenday's. So I can just imagine what the writers are trying to throw down our throats now as a storyline. But we go on, we go on and get on into this uh, episode that aired on Monday today, which is June 19th. We have Rich comes in to see Quinn to see how she's doing. He confirms with Deacon. Um... That Dick is in jail for everything he tried to do to her. For trying to kill her and this, that, and the third. And she goes on to say she loves Rich. She wasn't kidding about that. She says she loves him. <laughs> and of course, Rich like, baby, you're just saying it because, yeah, I was there at the right time to save you from, you know, being shot and killed. You know, it is what it is. But I'm like, she, I mean, um, Quinn, are you telling everyone that you tried to kill Deacon? You actually threw him off the cliff. That's how short-sighted your mentality is, meaning whenever you want what you want, you're going to get it. If you have to step to or step down to murdering someone, you're going to do it. So anybody should be in jail. It should be you, not Deacon. So then we move from there. We're going to have Nicole this day dreaming about her baby girl, Liz, and how she was brought about giving her away and she is feeling she needs a second chance. She wants her baby back. And, you know, who wouldn't feel that way by being their first child? But the only thing bad about what Nicole did, she did it for a selfish reason. So just because of the newfound revelation that she may or may not be able to have a child in the near future or at all, she feels like she has to go take back her option that she gave away, which to me deems her as a Indian giver because you can't give that type of gift away and then want it back when you basically um had a circumstance where you couldn't have children i mean have you thought about both of y'all just sharing lizzie you know what i'm saying oh you just too much to call and the writers are just too wrong for writing this in because it's it's too much you know both people have a side but we had to go back to the lesser degree and a judge more than likely will side with maya as well as rick you signed your life away just because a new situation came in that prevented you from having children. You know, it just is what it is. That's why I tell people. Don't we go out here trying to be a surrogate for folks and then you get your feelings all mixed in ball. And then you want to get a child away for X amount of years. And then you want to come back in their life and say, no, I want my child back. Is that in the third? No, that child shouldn't be with you because you haven't raised them. You haven't been there with them, tending to them. Putting all your emotions and feelings into them. So uh, my take of it, Nicole, is just wrong. She should have been thinking about adopting this, that, and the third. Because she come from, well, she don't really necessarily come from money. But she married into money, which we can make things happen. So it's just a real big hard pill for her to swallow at this time. And she's just reaching for any and everything. Okay, I think Maya, as well as Nicole, needs some psychiatric treatment. Because... It's just a hot mess all the way around. A hot mess. So then we have Rick is explaining to Maya that their adoption papers have some type of clerical error in it and needs to be resolved. Uh, Carter made the fixes and everything. We just need to get Nicole's signature. And Rick was saying, you know, I can I can get her to sign them or whatever. She said, no, let me just have this moment with my sister. I'll go and get her to sign them and that'll be that. Like, <laughs> More easily said than done, Maya. More easily said than done. Then we have Maya and Zenday um, having a moment together. No, I'm sorry, not Maya. Nicole and Zenday are having a moment together in the office talking over stuff. And, of course, um, Nicole is just looking out in space. She ain't hearing nothing on Zenday talking about. 
But did we have Coco walks in and see them together? And of course, they break up what little they were doing. And Nicole wants to talk to Coco without Zenday being there. So he readily ups and leaves and goes check with someone about his drawings. Then we have Nicole just explaining to Coco she may not be able to have children in the near future. She goes and gives her um, the prognosis and diagnosis of what her doctor had basically told her at a um, ladder or past appointment. And she's just kind of shaken up about it. Then we have Ridge and Quinn make a small talk with one another when Eric walks in with Sheila unannounced. And Ridge is just pretty much going off. Quinn don't really have a clue of what's you know, in depth about this Sheila Carter. She only knows the surface stuff, but she does know Ridge doesn't like her, so she's paying attention to all Sheila's demeanor and behavior while she's there in front of her. We go to commercial, come back. We have Maya is talking to Rick about talking to Nicole about getting those papers signed. Then we have Coco is trying to rationalize with Nicole about her issue. Nicole is talking uh, talking about making judgmental calls that she normally wouldn't make and you know, she just said her wits end. It's that in third, she's more crucial and judgmental herself. Rick and Maya, the baby Lizzie, and she just know where these feelings are coming from. She don't like it. She wants them to stop. Then Nicole is telling Coco she needs Lizzie. Not Maya, Rick, but her. And Coco looking at her like, you really don't lost your mind, child. Then we have Rich just trying to ask uh, Eric, why did he bring Sheila College today home? What made him do that? You know, what, what's going on with them? And Sheila goes on to apologize to Eric, Ridge, and Quinn for her past discretions, but basically just apologizing to Quinn for, I guess, coming over there unannounced because it was no really reason for her to apologize to Quinn because she ain't did nothing to Quinn yet. Emphasize on yet. Then we have Ridge trying to throw uh, Sheila out the house, but Eric was telling him, Stop acting up. I know what I'm doing when it comes to Sheila Carter. I haven't forgotten everything she's done to me and our family. And I'm like, mm, you mean the old Ridge, the fine Ridge, because she was doing some do work on his behind and holding him hostage. But it just is what it is. And Ridge and Quinn can't believe Eric just brought this psychopath into their forester home. But like I said, that's one psychopath to another psychopath. I don't know what you're talking about. We just need to decide which one is the craziest. We go to commercial combat. We have Sheila uh, telling Quinn she's so uh, she has a very lovely husband, very you know very empathetic type man. She better keep him. Just that and third, because you know once you find Eric for us, you don't find gold. All right, that's what she pretty much was telling Quinn, and Quinn was accepting all of her acknowledgement that yes, yeah, she's a very lucky woman. I Meaning she should have said she's a blessed woman, but we know how Quinn get down. She's crazy as hell. Then we have Sheila and Ridge are making nice niceness to one another, but Ridge ain't trying to hear her and her apologies. He treated her the same way he treated Queen until he started following for Queen. Okay? But, you know, he's taking everything in stride. Then Small Talk is still going on with Rick and Zenday about um, papers being drawn back up because of some clerical issues and adoption not really being finalized, but it is finalized. And then uh, you got Zenday looking out in space too, like, what? I thought that was all taken care of. you like, well, hell, I don't know if y'all gonna get that baby back from Nicole. <laughs> With the, the stuff that she done found out about her possibilities and not having children like, ever. Uh-uh, that ain't sitting too well. So then we have small talk going on with Nicole and Coco. When Maya comes by and comes in and she wants to talk to Nicole, so she pretty much gets rid of Coco. Um... Then she goes right on into telling her sister Nicole that she needs her to resign the doc documents about the adoption papers and this, that, and third. And Maya, I mean, Nicole is looking, you know, kind of crazy. And then Maya starts looking kind of defensive towards her sister Nicole. Like, you're going to sign these papers. You are going to sign this itch. Okay. Then we go to commercial combat. We have Eric and Sheila are talking on the outside, Sheila has other plans for Eric and Quinn and possibly Ridge. And it ain't good, y'all. It ain't good. Then we got Zendaya asking Rick, what kind of changes are to these adoption papers y'all trying to do this time? So he gives them a little preview, but not what she really needs to say or whatnot. Then we go to the last and final scene where we have Maya asks Nicole to sign the papers. Nicole tells her sister, I oh, no way. You mean to tell me I'm Liz's mother for real? <laughs> that you don't have any rights and 
mind gets up and say, no, I'm lazy mother. I'm like, technically you're not. <laughs> you're really a uh, Myron or whatever your name was when you were born in this world because you can't really have children. That, well, you can't have children. That's why your sister, Nicole, was having the child for you. Now, I got to side with, you know, you, Maya, because you definitely did your thing and you asked your sister and she did say she would do it for you and she kept her bargain. Now, some Peculiar things have happened to her, peculiar things, and she wants to make amends. She wants to get her daughter back. Is she right in that point? No. Is she justifiable? Uh, hell no. But speaking on just morality and just trying to understand her feelings, you know, um, Nicole, baby girl Nicole, she just needs some help. She needs some therapy. She needs to do some invasive surgery, try to correct that issue. But to just take the baby that she gave and had for you with your husband's sperm in it, leaving her solely out to dry, you and really Zende. Because <laughs> she'll probably say, we need to put our family together and this, that, and third. And she mostly talking about Rick, because that is Rick's child. So he definitely going to battle for that child. But it's also Nicole's child, because those were her eggs. His sperm fertilize his wife's sister, which is Nicole's egg. So parents, what we must speak about is Rick and Nicole. Don't know what the hell gonna happen to Zende and Maya as this story continues to unfold. But you know, y'all, that's how the writers get down. But Nicole said, no baby girl, no baby sister. I mean, no uh, adult sister, big sister. You cannot have my child. <laughs> and that's the darn of it, okay? And that dog on mine looking so vicious. Oh, she looking evil. She looking like Satan's daughter. So I'm like, ah, uh, that's too much. But anyway, y'all, that was the end of the Bold and the Beautiful for Monday, the June 19th. Look forward to talking back with you uh, about Young and the Restless. I know it's not going to be tonight, but hopefully I can get back into the swing of things uh, this week sometime. If not, you probably have to wait till Thursday, guys. Thursday, say around 6 or 7 p.m. because that's when I start my, um, day off. So, it just is what it is. We're kicking and moving, going through this thing called life, and we're just trying to do what we can do, okay? To stay afloat. But you all have a great evening, and I'll talk to you soon about something in the celebrity world. So poppers are here. Just kind of want to come up here, come up in here and talk to y'all. All right, guys, y'all uh, take care of each other, love on each other, and we'll see you back for something soon, okay? And don't forget to rate, not rate necessarily, because we know how we get down. I do my thing. Y'all listen to my thing. If y'all like it, keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I might have something the next time you come that you can really sink your teeth in. It's like, damn, she did that radio, okay? And as likewise, please share and uh, subscribe to my channel. Share my videos. Uh, to watch social media platforms as well as um, subscribe to my channel. All right, guys, peace and blessings. Take care. Bye.